Lay Naya. Lay Rachot. Lay with tender eyes. Lay soft eyes. Lay with squint eyes. Lay is crying eyes. It has been said that Lay is tender eyes. A Naya Rachot told of Leia's incessant weeping. That she cried and cried and cried because she had no not married to soul. Was it from sadness or was it from relief? She was now married to Jacob, Esau's younger brother. And Jacob had not wanted Leah for his bride. Jacob had wanted the younger sister, Rachel. Jacob had been tricked into marrying Leah. Leah cried, and she cried, and she cried, and she cried. Leah cried. She cried so much and for so long, and her eyes appeared tender, maybe even cross-eyed to those who looked at her. No one ever actually saw Leah cry. I only saw the after effects because when the force came over her to cry, she left and she walked down into the alley. And here, away from everyone, she cried. Her tears were so full of feeling, so thick and full, and they didn't disappear into the ground. The first time, she didn't notice that. Her thick, heavy tears stayed where they were, on the sand, in the small dome, like mercury. The tears were so heavy, they sank and formed a tiny puddle and they stayed in the sand. The next time she went into the valley, she didn't even see her tiny puddle, and she didn't know it was the result of her tears. She merely sat in the same place as before and cried once more. The next time the tiny puddle was now a small puddle, and the puddle grew bigger, bigger every time she returned. Eventually she understood. The growing water source at the place where she cried was her doing. Because of her tears over time, she saw her tears grow into a small pool and then a bigger pool. The pool turned into a lake. The lake eventually turned into a sea that was so thick with emotion that no fish, nor snail, nor frog could ever step into it. Hundreds of years passed and people ventured into the waters and saw that it was so thick they could float in it. Feelings of weightlessness in the sea lifted the weight of their own heaviness and they felt relieved. As they left the sea, they felt their bodies and they turned smooth. Their bodies had turned smooth and soft and they felt even lighter and even more relieved. Thousands of years later, still people discovered they took layers, thousands of year old tears. They could transform the tears into beauty products. And so layers tears <coughs> smooth the skin of people all over the world. People, perhaps you too have felt this. I dream I'm a princess locked in a tower. In a tower, it's nice. I have a crystal glass filled with expensive sherry. In a big bedroom with a bathroom on suite. With a big bath. And here I cry. As I'm crying in my bath, I look out the window and I see soldiers in the trenches. I start to drown in my tears. So I go down into the trenches to be with the soldiers and here I get covered in shit. It's nice, it's fun in the shit. We laugh together. Then I start to drown in the shit. And I want to go back into my tower. I'd rather drown in my own lonely than in the shit of everybody else. When God saw that Leah was the hated one, he opened her womb. But Rachel was barren. Leah was hated. Is hated the right English translation? Unloved, disliked, maybe unseen. Leah was unseen. She never showed her crying self. Only her tender eyes were seen when she returned after leaving everyone for days at a time with no answer. Even with all her chores and her motherly duties, Away from them as Leia cried, more and more of her came out. Leia the ugly, Leia the beautiful, Leia the sensitive, Leia the selfish, Leia the intelligent, angry Leia, deep Leia, humble Leia, Leia connected to the divine, but this is more than soft-eyed Leia. She never shared with anyone. She could never explain why she would leave them all. She believed that all these little Leia's and all her feelings and all the thoughts and all her tears would be too much drowned them all. She left them to cry out of love. One day, Leia returned from the crime.
time and David was waiting for her. She looked at him, looked into his eyes. She ached knowing that it was Rachel he had wanted. She had never seen Mr. Jacob because she didn't want him to think it was his fault. She loved Jacob. She loved Rachel. She pitied Rachel and Jacob and she hated him. And she hated herself for hating him, but Jacob didn't see all these thoughts. He didn't see her, and so he turned around again. She goes straight back to the valley and the sea. She turned around again to go straight back to the valley and the sea. Jacob, curious, followed her. And she knew he was following her, but she could not bear to turn around. At one point, she thought she might shout, leave me, go home. But she never did. And they landed up all the way down at the sea of tears. She stared at the sea for 40 days, not crying and not turning around. And after 40 days, she turned around and Jacob was right behind her. And she looked right into her, and he looked right into her tender eyes. And he said, Leah. And she said, Good And from this day forth, Jacob became known as Israel. And Leah never went back to the Sea of Tears. From Israel and Leah, a great tribe was born. And this tribe bore many great, many humble leaders. And one of these humble leaders you all know, his name was Moses. And you're hearing about a little bit about Leah, and you're going to learn a little bit about Moshe, and here's some music, so go.